Welcome back to the Sports Max Zone. We head over now to Trinidad and Tobago and continue with football. Action resumed over the weekend in the secondary schools football league, the SSFL. Well, Sports Max's feature game saw a struggling East Mokarapo secondary hosting league leader St. Benedict's College at the Queen's Royal College. Well, here's Colin Murray with a play-by-play. -play. Well, referee McIntyre got things going. And uh, a free kick sent into the box, headed out, and then Morris sent it back in field before it was cleared away. And there was the free kick. Free kick sent in by Peer, and eventually East Mokarapu clears their lines. This is Ochoa, playing it there to Peer. Gets it to Burke, sends the ball across, and Ochoa just couldn't get it. He was stretching, trying to get it back on target, and uh, certainly just couldn't, couldn't get it. But here is Ismukrapu looking to come forward. But the ball played, to, what a bullet coming from Garcia. He had defenders on the left of him. He had defenders on the left of him. He had defenders on the right of him. He took it and he banged it beautifully into the uh, goal. What a beauty of a goal from Garcia. That was the second goal. Gave the insurance that St. Benedict's needed because 1-0 is always a fragile lead. And there we see a shot coming from Morris, but cleared away. Headed away, it seems to be by Edwards. As ball played through to Garcia, and you had to think that that was it. That was a cracker. What a shot because the defenders just couldn't keep up with him. The ball was bouncing away from him. He got to it, look at it, look at the technique, and he hit it beautifully, superbly. Francis, Francis in goal had absolutely no chance, and the ball cushioned at the top of the net and into the back of the net. All right, let's take a look at the results now from the weekend. So we have that Benedict's College win courtesy their captain 2-0 against East Mokarapu Secondary. Then a 2-0 draw between Fatima College and Speyside Secondary. Presentation College had a 3-1 win against Malik Secondary. A 1-0 draw between Miracle Ministries and Signal Hill Secondary. Naprima College on a win there. Two goals versus St. Mary College. Then St. Anthony's College 4-1 over Queen's Royal College and a 1-0 draw between St. Augustine Secondary and San Juan North Secondary. So Lance, our feature match, St. Benedict's College, they have been flying really high. They are on a 10-game unbeaten streak and it looks as if uh, they're going to continue on that streak. And I say that because a lot of their difficult fixtures have gone already and the manner in which they're going about these matches. Two goals coming from their captain, Daryl. And I felt as if, you know, he really showed a lot of leadership in this match. And I mean, leading by example with these two goals. Yeah, well, he had been on trial in Europe some time ago, back in school now. Daryl Zoom Zoom Garcia. Two fabulous goals we just saw from him. And he really looks a cut above the other strikers in the TNT um, Secondary Schools League at the moment. Um, not as prolific in the goal scoring as Presentation College and Fatima. Both have scored more goals than St. Benedict's have. Yeah. But St. Benedict's have conceded only six goals so far. So the defense is very, very tidy. And uh, they're top of the table with uh, only one draw so far uh, blemishing their, 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 their result sheet. So they really look strong, St. Benedict's. It's going to be hard to topple them from the top. Yeah, it's going to be really dis difficult. Uh, Fatima shocked me a bit this, in this match because a tall versus Speyside, they also have been dominant in this competition. Uh, they started the season with a bang. So when I saw the result there, Lance, it, was, it, was, it came to me as a bit of a surprise. But then again, it speaks to the quality of the other teams and you can't really underestimate any team on any given day. Yeah, well, Fatima have scored 28 goals so far in the tournament. 10 more goals than the top team, St. Benedict. So offensively, Fatima, Fatima have uh, recorded some very, very strong results and um, would have been disappointing for them that they dropped points against Bayside. Yeah. But, but we'll, 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 we'll see what, what happens there with them because they are 
uh, a long way off the top of the table at the moment. I think they're eight points off the leaders. So Correct. Um, they would have been closer if they didn't drop those points. But St. Benedict's really <laughs> a, a, a pleasure to watch them. And Garcia is a really fine talent up, up, up front for them. So um, uh, Naparima are mid-table at the moment. 2-0 win on the weekend. Yeah, and yeah, well, disappointment for them because they are traditionally a strong team. Correct. But they are they are off the pace at the moment and um, 13 points off the lead. Yeah, and, and you know, at this point in the season, 13 points off so, sounds a bit much because to be able to catch up with a high-flying team like St. Benedict's. And as I said, when I looked at the fixtures, St. Benedict's, they have faced a lot of their tough opponent already. So I want to assume that they're going to be able to get by these other opponents, despite not being able to have high scoring matches like the ones you spoke about before, Lance. But what I like about Benedict's is they're getting the job done, even if it means a one goal win. We're doing what we have to do, picking up the three points and moving along. Yeah, and they are a team that, well, they have a couple of games in hand. They have played. I think two fewer games than St. Benedict. So if they can get wins there in their two games, it would it would make their the gap that they are off the lead look a, a little less, you know, disappointing for them. They are actually playing a match this afternoon uh, against Malik Secondary. So right. if they get a win there, uh, they would you know wipe off one of the games that they have in hand and cut the deficit to ten points. But St. Benedict's look look home and dry as far dried as far as I'm concerned. They they are, as we would say in horse racing, beyond recall. Yeah, unless they face a space side that holds them to a draw, like they did to Naprima. <laughs> well, on that note, you know, we remind you that you can catch all the schoolboy football on the channel from Jamaica and Trinidad and Tobago right here on your home of champions. We're gonna take a quick break and come right back with the fun part of the show, interactive. Welcome to SSFL Remission Leadership. 